about how to deal with the emotion. I usually just go last. <laughs> so here's what happened. Hi, baby. I'm so sorry. This is so cringe. This I know this seems fake because it's like who in their right mind would do this. Quick review. <sighs> He doesn't love me after one fight. He never did. So I uh... <laughs> A plus. <laughs> I don't think he realizes uh, people take that serious. Yeah, I got mad at him for something. I got really jealous over something stupid. First clear my schedule. Hello everybody. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Foodie Booties, Foodie Beauty Chantal's deleted live stream, in which she said that her marriage is over, that her husband told her that he didn't love her anymore. Isn't this a surprise? And right after she streamed that and cried and, in my opinion, didn't get enough super chats, she deleted that live stream, did another live stream saying everything is okay and they're back together. Rinse, lather, Kermit, repeat. So this is important. So as I said, uh, right after her breakup stream, she does a stream saying everything is, is okay, we're good. She deletes that stream. So in the stream, her husband comes into the stream and first of all, says something to her that I can't even really show you here. He basically threatens to like basically come after her and do something to her. And she laughs it off and says, oh, he always says he's going to do this. I will start it out now people are going to say you're a user. <laughs> you always say that and then you never say <laughs> A+. Plus. I don't think he realizes uh, people take that serious. I was. <laughs> okay, so is that the face of a woman that was just crying hysterically saying her marriage is over? Is that somebody that just had uh, the love of their life break up with them? Or is it fake for views? You decide. Listen, I'm no relationship expert, but this relationship seems to already be going into the same direction as the other non-relationship went. If a man is saying that he's going to do something to you like that, um, when you get back to, you know your marriage over there, it's not a good sign. The fact that Chantal admits that he always says this to her is just terrible. And she laughs it off. And she also says, well, you know, this is all, this looks like it's fake. What happened? Hi, baby. I'm so sorry. This is so cringe. This, I know this seems fake because it's like, who in their right mind would do this? Well, that's the point. I'm not in my right mind. Who else would do this? You would do this. Not only is this all fake marriage, divorce thing, the whole thing is fake. See, it's never a good thing when you can't tell what's real and what's fake. But I am telling you, despite the fact that they're doing this for views and attention, I do think that a part of this has to do with the fact that their relationship isn't real, that he doesn't love you. And you can make 700 more streams saying that everything is good and okay. And, you know, she says hello to him in the stream. All of this is not going to end well for you romantically because you can't understand that he doesn't really love you and you think you just had a fight. Okay, I have a few questions. How can a marriage be over when it never started in the first place? Everyone knows you're in a fake marriage, in my opinion. It's been proven extensively by many different YouTubers uh, and you told on yourself, okay? Now, what I wanted to say is twofold. If you want to know my opinion and we're going to get into it, I think it's both. I think it's real and it's fake. What I mean by that is I think she's using this for fake views. I think that this is definitely all fake to a certain extent. I want to show you something right here is like a vlog that she posted on their vlog channel saying season two is coming. Why would you call your relationship in seasons? And why would you say that there's a season of it? What is it, like a TV show, a made-up thing? I don't know if you remember this if you watched my last Foodie Booty video uh, on her cats. I said that her and her husbands uh, are acting like paid actors. Gee, I wonder why I said that. Because it's obvious it feels that way. It's fake. Okay, I think she did this whole thing for views, attention, and drama, just like she did... Um, the whole situation with her ex non boyfriend I used to make videos about this and I used to say, well, you know, they're just doing it for drama. But even though I think it's all for attention, fake and views, 
because she already did a stream saying everything's okay. Just understand this. There has to be some type of, in my personal opinion, okay, in my opinion, what I think, there has to be some type of trouble in the relationship to even go this far. Like basically what I'm trying to say is if I was in a happy, healthy relationship, no matter how much I needed money, I wouldn't pretend to break up or I wouldn't even have those feelings or say those feelings even for show. I think there's obviously cracks in the relationship and I think obviously there's something wrong in your relationship, Chantal, because you married a stranger and you're trying to tell us that it's this deep love story. Meanwhile, everyone can see, in my opinion, you both are acting fake like you're, especially you, Chantal, you act like you're a hired paid actor. So we're going to get into it, of course. Everything I'm saying is for entertainment purposes only. Don't want you to take anything I say seriously because I'm sharing opinions, not facts, about public figures, what they're choosing to make public. I'm not comparing them to you. I always urge you to be kind in the comments section. Please, please do not leave these people any mean-spirited, negative, discouraging comments. All right, let's take a look at what Foodie Booty had to say. I don't even know what to say. I hate my life right now. I hate myself for wasting time. Okay, so she hates herself for wasting her time. How about your audience's time? Everyone knows that this relationship isn't real. I am telling you this. Okay, listen, if you've watched my foodie booty videos for a long time, I always wish all the people that I watch all the best, despite me not agreeing with anything that they say or do, okay? I told... I told her this on my channel 700 times. You need to first work on yourself after your whole toxic, terrible relationship with the other guy. And then you need to, you know after extensive getting yourself help, then you need to find the right guy. You literally married the first man that would show you any sign of attention, affection. You don't even know this guy. And on top of that, I'm telling you, this whole thing is fake. Go and watch their interactions with one another. It's like this, oh, hi, I love you, babe. I love you too. Let's get the repeating guy in on this. Like, I'm telling you, like, that's why I said in my other video, they look like they're paid actors. What I mean is they they look like they're acting like they're paid actors. First of all, you shouldn't hate yourself or be upset at yourself for wanting to be loved. And nobody should nobody should feel that way towards themselves, okay? But this is all fake, Chantal. Why is this all on YouTube and then deleted and, oh, everything's fine right now? You obviously posting that you're having seasons of your relationship it's all fake for views <laughs> oh my god it's over it's done so that's it Oh my god, I'm not laughing. I'm just laughing because I can't believe I just said that. Like, I don't know if I should laugh or cry anymore. <laughs> like, people fight in relationships, right? Like, it's normal. But whenever you say something you can't come back from, it's over. A man that tells you that he doesn't love you uh, a month after marriage or at any point in the relationship. I understand this is a part of this is fake for views, but like I said, originally a part of this, obviously something is off. You know, um, you should not give up your cats and rehome your cats because she's rehoming her cats, which is something she's wanted to do for a long time. And you should not, under any circumstances, give up your relationship with Pete's and throw Pete's out for a man that says that he doesn't love you. She's about to tell you that basically, you know, he told her that he doesn't love her. What is this all worth? Why did you uproot your life for a total stranger? Love isn't something that happens in a vacuum, okay? It's all fake. If he's actually telling you that he doesn't love you, if even, listen, this is what I want to get across. If five seconds of this is true, even a little bit, run now. Don't give up your whole life for a man that doesn't love you. I'm bad for going on. Oh, there's like something. I don't know if you're like this, but I'm like this. Like, you know when you're angry and you say things that you don't necessarily mean.
<laughs> I'll be as sweet as pie tomorrow. Oh, you know it. You know I'm gonna manipulate. And you're gonna eat it up, and you're gonna watch me. <laughs> There's some things you can like understand somebody saying. But when you're mad at someone and you tell them that you don't love them anymore, you can't go back from that. You just can't. Okay, so in theory, she's right. Uh, it, I'm just going to tell you this. It doesn't matter if it's a man or it's a woman, it's a person, it doesn't matter. If you're in a relationship and the person is telling you that they don't love you in a fight and it's early on, you need to get out. And if they're telling you they don't love you three years down the line or 10 years down the line, this in my knowledge and my, from my remembrance, okay, this is the end. This is the beginning of the end. If the person doesn't love you, I mean, I don't know, some people stay in relationships for kermits or for love or for not love companionship or for the, something else the hand massager the point is is that people stay in relationship for all kinds of reasons but if you want to be loved and if you're there for your, with your partner for the love reason yeah why would you stay so basically he told her that he don't love her supposedly allegedly okay she later on takes this back but okay i feel that the way that she's acting on camera is fake Okay, she's not using her right voice that she always uses, all right? She's not acting the way she always acts. I just think this is all fake for views, but I know I keep saying this. I just feel like if he really did tell you this, you need to leave. Like you can't. So, I think, I think I was already in like a very fragile state of mind and then, and then hearing that, I said some very, I said some horrible things to him. Out of anger. And that really hurt him. I know. He doesn't love me. And when your audience told you that this relationship is fake, that you guys have a zero chemistry, that there's something wrong on screen when we see you together, that you guys are just like, you don't really seem like a married couple. You don't even seem like a couple at all. You seem like you're hired actors. You continuously raged and said that this is your business. You know, I'll tell you something. I better not see this the next day. Oh, you all need to get out of my personal business. My marriage is no one's business. You know, here's the thing, right? I've been saying this for a while. She sells her life for profit. You know, you can't get away from that. That is how you make money. I don't know how anyone is making money posting videos and deleting them the second that they post it. That is a terrible business plan. But, you know, uh, this was always bound to happen. I don't think that there's a good support system around you. Like, who can you, like, okay, let's say any of us were in this situation. Would we really come to YouTube to vent like this? I don't even think if you have a vlog channel, most people would do it. I don't think there's enough people for her to talk to about this situation other than Pete's, okay? And I think that you can't get away from selling your life for profit. If this man is telling you that he doesn't love you, no matter what you said to him, this is an outrageous statement to make. And you know, for my remembrance, what I believe is that if somebody tells you that they don't love you, I don't care how fake for views it is, whatever. If someone tells you they don't love you, this is serious. They probably don't. Honestly, Chantal, I got to be clear with you here. I never saw that he seemed like he loved you. You know, when somebody loves somebody, you could just feel it on screen when they're like on screen. Like, I just think that this whole thing is done so you can have your new arc. And, you know, I've always said that she only married him and only started being with him because she needed to get over her obsession with her ex non boyfriend i don't know i would run away now if he doesn't love you now he will not grow to love you if he doesn't love you now like, here's the bottom line if he's told you that he's loved you which obviously he has and that was a lie at this point you need to cut your losses and get out of the situation because because and it doesn't matter that she said it's already they're all back together i know she said that they're back together if a man starts doing something bad like this in the beginning, how do you think the middle and ending will be? I don't know what to do about it. Like, I don't know how to deal with the emotion. I usually just go like... Oh. That's my problem. If he 
doesn't love me after one fight. He never did. So I... Uh, <laughs> no, you don't say that. You don't say that. You don't. Yeah, I could never, ever, ever say it. <laughs> um, okay, I just need some time. I wanted to leave this part in to show you that uh, what happened is Pete's... Uh, asked her if she was all right and she answers him right okay so the reason that I left this part in is to show you that the person that she's getting rid of Pete's you know her best friend the person that went into debt for her the person that has defended her on the internet the only person that's defended her on the internet and has always 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 been there for her is still there for her still there saying are you okay what's going on honestly Chantal it here's what I think you know Obviously, she's, you know, streaming this for views and she's streaming this for to heighten the profile and for the season two to, you know, kick off and everything like that that she's saying. But uh, it's obvious that he did tell her that he didn't love her. And it's obvious that this did happen. Right. She's just using it for drama. But it is, you know, happening at the same time because, you know, the, the tears that she's crying, I mean, they're they're real tears. So he did tell you that he didn't love you a month or what, two after your fake marriage? My point here is this. The person that really cares about you is Pete's. The person in your home asking you, are you okay? Your cats care about you. You're getting rid of all of the things that you know and love and all of the people that you know and love for a man that doesn't love you. Make it make sense. Thank you. I hate love. I think I'm like too crazy for anybody. Like, how can I be with anybody who's crazy? I think that what she just said, a lot of people can relate to. Uh, a lot of people feel like, uh, with my mental status, like, wh wh who who am I in life? Like, will people love me despite? how I feel and despite my problems. I think this is a very universal thing, right? Uh, but in Chantal's case, this isn't really about your mental status or anything like that. This is not the way. This man is out here telling you he doesn't love you. It doesn't matter who you are. If he doesn't love whoever you are, you need to get out now instead of wasting more time with him. I heard his feeling. Like I said some mean things about him. I was like... like and in response to that, he said he doesn't look anymore after what I said. Okay, so my opinion is it doesn't work that way. People do not immediately lose love for their partner because their partner says something inappropriate or bad. Yes, people say stuff they don't mean all the time during fights, 100%, yes. But I think it's even sometimes hard, like when you walk in and like, let's say you're in a monogamous relationship, you walk in and you find your partner with somebody else. I don't even think people immediately lose love for that person right away. I mean, you hear this all the time. People say, well, you know, this person did this, this, and this to me, and I still love them, right? This is a very widespread feeling because love is not something that you could turn on and off. It's not like an on and off switch. If her husband is telling her that he no longer loves her because of something mean that she said he never loved you to begin with and he was lying it's it's obvious the writing is like right in front of you like a person doesn't just magically stop loving you because you say something mean in the relationship usually it means it's an indicator of a deeper problem like when i heard him say that because i thought we were soulmates so you don't say that say you don't love somebody how can you go from being so in one minute and then the next minute you don't love them no it was fake <laughs> it was all fake it is fake it was fake and it will continue to be fake when you go back to him and start filming your content i don't even know what you're getting out of this chantal because your videos that you're making in your vlog channel are not getting the views that they should be. When she was first, you know, married and she was first saying all this stuff, she got good views, but not anymore because people have been able to recognize it's fake. I'll tell you something. Whenever I've made videos about Foodie Booty, I have always said the same thing over and over again. She doesn't understand social cues. I'm not saying that because I'm trying to like, you know, 
come for her or anything like that. I've seen this type of behavior before. That's why I can pick it out really easily. She doesn't understand social cues. I have a question. Uh, do you really think if you remember this, I don't know how many of you remember this, but some people will. Do you really think that a man that is going to marry you and going on Tinder and talking to other women is genuine to you? Uh, one of the earliest scandals that I talked about on my channel here with her marriage before she even went over there uh, was that uh, the channel Piggy made a video about this and got a strike for this because basically the channel exposed and was talking about how, uh, you know, Chantal's husband was on Tinder. And then they were like, no, this is a private Tinder. It's a private profile. It's not a private profile. He had a public dating profile. He was talking to you and everybody else. My point here is this. I don't think that she understands social cues. And I don't think she, I think she genuinely, this is what I think. I think she genuinely believed at the time that he loved her because he said he did. It's not understanding social cues. What does this man have to gain versus what you have to gain? You're desperate for love. All right. You're desperate for love and love is not something that you could order like at a restaurant. It's not something that you can order from anywhere. It happens naturally. You can't hurry it. You can't, you know, make it happen. It's something that naturally happens. If this man is telling you, he don't love you. He don't love you. You don't understand social cues. And just like she didn't understand what it meant when she went to her ex non boyfriend's house for the first time. And there was a woman there screaming, you cheated, you cheated. Chantal said, Oh, well, I don't know what's going on. Really? He couldn't even hide the other women in his life from you. The first moment he met you, I'd never even heard of that before with her ex non boyfriend for a guy not to hide the other women he's with. My point here is this. She doesn't understand social cues, which is why she couldn't understand that her husband didn't love her. Why did he marry you so fast? Why did you lie about being legally married? Why did you say something so terrible to him right now during this supposed fight that what could you have said that him saying to you that he doesn't love you? No, 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 no. Don't understand social cues. This was all fake from the beginning. I feel really stupid sudden very pulsive I called it the coward we were fighting and I get very very emotional and I freak out and I don't know if it's because of what <laughs> like I still have pent up anger from being with her as I said before in all of my videos, my honest opinion is that I think she married this man to get over the guy that she was seeing before. Let's remember, I know that sounds very wild, but I think that's exactly what happened. That's why I keep saying it uh, in all my videos. She needed to get over that guy that she is to this day so obsessed with. You know what uh, predicated this stream and whatever fight she had with uh, her husband? Before this stream, she did uh, another stream called like Hot Chicken Bees or whatever where she was talking about her ex now boyfriend and his new girlfriend. So she's still obsessed with them. I was going to make a dedicated video to that, but now it's pointless because the, you understand she's still talking about her ex. What I'm trying to get at is my opinion is she a hundred percent married a total stranger to get over that guy that she was obsessed with. Let's not forget what was Chantal doing before she married this man. She was talking about her ex now boyfriend. She was raging about them and they were fighting back and forth on the internet all the time. I'm telling you when you're obsessed with someone and she is obsessed with her ex. What happened? Because she just did a stream about her ex. I'm telling you. What happens is it becomes like energy that you live on. So uh, if you really go around asking how to get over one obsession, it's to start another one. It's to pretty much uh, get into another guy. You didn't marry this man for the right reasons. And I, my opinion is he certainly didn't marry you for the right reasons, which is love, companionship, or friendship, at least something. If he's telling you he don't love you that fast, there's a problem. No, he wasn't bad. He wasn't mad at me. I got mad at him for something. I got really jealous over something stupid. But I'm so insecure. I'm just not feeling well, I guess, overall, too. Just like mixing everything all together. FFG will be getting criminal harassment charges very soon, don't worry. Okay, so she ends the stream pretty much saying that French Fry Girl is going to get a criminal harassment charge. 
uh, this is what I was talking about in my other video where she pretended that the cops came and she was saying that, you know, it's not legal to be rude to people. Okay, right. Uh, people have a right to make videos about you because you're a public figure. If you want to take French fry girl to court, that clearly uh, is not the same thing as criminal harassment. If you want to sue her for something, that's different. So she's obsessed with French fry girl. This is what I was saying in my other video. Even in the depths, in the depths of her being so sad that her marriage is ending, she's thinking about French fry girl. As I already said, her entire marriage she's thinking about French fry girl, her honeymoon. She's thinking about French fry girl. She's sitting on the internet and thinking about French fry girl Whole channels, thinking and talking and responding to what French fry girl says. All right. Because I know that if I was really devastated, I would not care if I was, if my relationship was ending, I wouldn't care what somebody on the internet has to say. All right. So, um, as far as what happened between them, she called them a bunch of names and she called them a coward or whatever. Why did you call him that? And he said he never loved her. Yeah. He never did love you. It was a fake marriage from the beginning. Then she did two different streams, uh, uh, like that were okay already. Everything she said, everything was okay between them. And she deleted that stream. So she deleted the stream that we just looked at, right? The breakup stream. But isn't that strange to delete the stream where she says that everything is all right and everything is okay? That doesn't make any personal sense to me. Why would you delete the stream where you say everything's okay? And then she did another stream called Cheer Me Up. So we'll look at that, you know, probably during the week or tomorrow. But here's my opinion on the situation. I clearly understand and I'm telling you that after she did this stream, she went ahead and she said that everything's fine between them and they're back together. But everything is not fine. Not only are you using this for views and attention and money and it's all, it was always all fake for views. This is what could have happened. This was always all for views and for drama and for fake drama for her like show, the Chantal show, you know, the foodie booty show. And then she started believing it. As I said, I don't think that she understands social cues. I think that she married a stranger and thought that he loved her right away because he said so. It doesn't work that way, Chantal. And I also think that he could have told you 700,000 different things, but he chose to tell you. He chose to tell you that he doesn't love you. So that's a very strong thing to say. He could have said, you know, uh, like mean things back, or he could have said, let's take a break or whatever the case may be. He chose to tell you something that he probably always felt. Of course, he doesn't love you, Chantal. He doesn't know you. This isn't anything bad. Technically, it's just that you don't understand social cues and you believed a complete stranger was marrying you, not for your money, not as a you know scam or anything. You just believed that he was marrying you because he loved you. He didn't even know you. A person can't love you in one day. It's very hard. Okay. I think that she, set up something with him where they were going to be making videos together and this was going to be a part of her show because as she always says she sells her you know her like whole life for views and she does her life for profit on YouTube and I think that she actually started believing it okay have you ever heard of these things these things get put on television shows and in movies all the time where Somebody bets somebody, this is not what happened here, but it's a typical story that resonates here. Somebody bets somebody money to start dating somebody they don't like. That person takes the money, they take the, you know, and they start dating that person. Then they actually end up liking them, right? And then they have to tell them the truth. And it's a very big drama, right? This happens in movies all the time. Well, this could have been in a different way. She could have started off, you know, with this man and her just dating and it wasn't real or whatever. And then she actually started believing that it was real. Whether she started believing that it was real or it was real to her, I don't think you're understanding the social cues in the relationship. A stranger that marries you and starts filming content with you, okay, where you're clearly not showing your bed with him, you're clearly not, you know, showing and telling us a lot of the information, saying it's all for privacy. When you've literally told us you went to do whatever with married men and literally showed every part of you on OF and everywhere... Th all of a sudden you need privacy. That's what's been happening. A person that's an extreme extrovert all of a sudden needs privacy. No, it's not a real marriage. So I wish Foodie Beauty all the best. You guys could let me know what you think about this drama in the comments down below. We'll probably pick this up tomorrow. Uh, all I could say is if a man told me 
that he doesn't love me anymore. That will be the last time that I talk to this man, okay? Get a hand massage, Chantal. Start living your life for yourself because I, I, I don't know the path to success, but the, the path to not have a Kermit is basically to live your life for a man who doesn't even love you. All right, thank you guys so very much for watching. I wish Foodie Booty all the best. If you enjoyed today's video, check out this other video on Foodie Booty right here. I hope you enjoyed today's tale of why I shouldn't marry a stranger who says he doesn't love me. Take care of yourselves. Think of yourself first, because if you don't, who will? Love yourself and live for yourself, because living for other people ends in these nightly deleted beezes where the guy tells you this nonsense. All right, thank you so much for spending some of your time with me, and I will see you very, very soon for an update. Thanks for watching. Bye. Guys, do you know Foodie Beauty? Fucking away so fast. You're walking in uniform.